Big Tapia in a defensive posture. Man, Miguel, he beat me to the statement. I was going to say, I think he's getting more comfortable with Manny Tapia's speed and range. And he's starting to go ahead and he's going to land more of those power shots. Nice knees to the inside. Good recovery by Manny Tapia after he's rocked hard. Miguel Torres look comes forward. Killer instinct to Miguel. I mean, look at the eyes on somebody. That's the same expression. I'm sure people have before they go in and stab somebody. He's just all business. Oh! oh and a straight done. right and a left. And Josh Rosenthal, the referee, is closely monitoring this. If he didn't rock him the first time, he has this time. That's it. Torres has shut him down. You know, Manny Tapia wanted to stand up with Miguel Torres. Question how wow. good Miguel Torres' stand-up was. Here you go. First Jab, right. left hook, straight right hand down the pipe. Nails M Manny Tapia, takes him down, rushes in for the kill. Again, he survived that onslaught just to eat another right hand. And here, the referee saving Manny Tapia from what could have been very devastating, coming down with some powerful elbows. Manny Tapia had nothing here. Miguel Torres is complete everywhere. We will talk to that man, the defending champion Miguel Torres, when we return to Las Vegas, Nevada, live on Versus. Back in Las Vegas at the conclusion of a great night of mixed martial arts here on the WEC. We go inside the cage. Joe Martinez has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes. Three minutes, four seconds of round number two. TKO, Dota strikes. For your winner and still the WEC Bantamweight Champion of the World, Miguel Angel Torres. Miguel, what were you able to figure out in the first five minutes that allowed you to seize those, seize those opportunities in round number two? Uh, I wanted to fight a little bit calm this time. Uh, last time I fought, I got kind of emotional and got kind of crazy. Um, if I calm myself down, I, I fight like this pretty much all the time. Um, I knew Manny was going to come with big punches. I wanted to keep my range, use my jab to measure him up, and then throw a couple of feints to come with a big right hand. You've said before that mixed martial arts to you is an art form. What's the next step in your evolution as an artist? Um, the next step is to fight the next person in line, whoever that may be. Um, WC has a lot of great 135-pounders out there. To me, they got the best in the world, and I want, I'm here to fight the best in the world. All right, it was another great clinic. Congratulations. 35th win for Miguel. Yeah. All right, thank you, Craig. Congratulations to that man. The belt stays with him. And Frank, he just backed up your point. He may be the pound for pound best fighter in MMA. Here's how I, you know, another way I justify this. I mean, everybody has great techniques. He fought Manny Tapia, and he knew that he was way better on the ground if he would have taken this fight. You know, Manny Tapia knew that. He said, hey, you know, stand up with me, and we'll see how great of a champ you are. So he went in and fought Manny Tapia. What well, Manny Tapia had the best chance of trying to win the fight and destroyed him in that realm. He didn't just go out there and take him down and choke him. He said, oh, you think you're good at boxing? I'll show you some boxing. Went out there and knocked him out using what he felt the other guy's best weapon was. What else can you say about a champion? He can step into anybody's world and dominate them. Extremely impressive. And folks, the WEC kicks off the new year on January 25th from the San Diego Sports Arena with a rematch of one of the greatest fights ever in WEC history. The California Kid Uriah Faber and Jen's Little Evil Pulver get together again. And lightweight champion Jamie Varner defends his title against Donald the Cowboy Cerrone. Live Sunday, January 25th on Versus 9.30 Eastern, 8.30 Central. Tickets go on sale tomorrow. Well, we saw a great night of fights in the WEC tonight. Once again, for all the latest news and information on World Extreme Cage Fighting, head on over to Versus.com and WEC.TV. Coming up next, it's the season premiere of The Contender. So on behalf of my partner, Frank Mir, and Craig Hummer, and our entire Versus crew, I'm Todd Harris. Good night from the joint at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. We'll see you next time.